Nasty. Seoul National University Gymnasium, excitement in the air, a capacity crowd on hand. The finals of the men's table tennis competition in singles. I'm Spencer Ross along with Sean O'Neill, captain of the United States men's table tennis team. Bud Collins alongside a pair of Koreans are shooting for the gold. Yunam Q and Kim Ki Tech. They've now moved into the third game. Kim Ki Tech took game number one. Yunam Q took the second game. Now a pair of Koreans battling it out, Sean O'Neill. The intensity that these two players have exhibited. Are you surprised? Not at all. This is for an Olympic gold medal, and everyone should realize that. They've been roommates for the past week. They want to beat each other as bad as they can. Okay, and as far as uh, Yunam Q is concerned, he is the Asian Games champion. But Collins, you've watched this young man. We've been watching him throughout this tournament. Does he remind you in particular of any great athletes you've ever seen before? Well, the ubiquitous Mr. Yu. First of all, I'm a newspaper guy. He uses the pen holder grip, so I like that. But he does remind me of two champions. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. The way the left hook goes cross court. And then John McEnroe, he can hit it inside out. And he's a knockout puncher from Pusan. A knockout puncher from Pusan. Yunam Q is 20 years of age. As I mentioned, he did win the Asian Games Championship. And he is indeed a hero in his nation of Korea. Kim Ki Tech. There's a lot of rooting interest in this young man. The right-hander can really fire the ball, and he is 25 years of age. Kim Ki Tech hails from Seoul. So the crowd is kind of getting on his side, and as I mentioned, game number one went to Kim Ki Tech, number two to Yoon Nam Q. Let's pick up the action right now in the third game. It is Yoon Nam Q opening up a 12-7 lead here in this third game, all even at one game apiece. Oh. We call that the wiggle there. And he certainly wiggled it. It is now 12-8. Here you see UDMQ away from the table. Kim Kitak puts a drop shot and tries to fake him out with all these extra swings. And that's the wiggle. And with that inverted rubber, you're practically carrying the ball. That, that ball almost sticks right to the racket, doesn't it, Sean? Um, not really. You're only allowed to touch it on one shot. So he does leave, it does leave the racket quite fast. Kim Ki-Tech, he won the first game, 21-17. It was Yunam Q, the Asian Games champion, winning the second, 21-19. And here is Kim Ki-Tech on his first of five services. Watch it! Ooh. How much weight are these guys losing, Sean? They're drenched. I would think it lifts at least three or four pounds. Great recovery by oh. Yunam Q off the tick off the side of the table. You again goes for the little wiggle. He tries to get on with his body. Then Keith Tech trying to battle back here in this the third game. A little visit to the towels, and which is really uh, against the rules. It can only be done after five service points, but at that point you saw the uh, scorekeeper come over and kind of wipe off the table. There's a lot of perspiration perhaps dripping on that yeah. table. Here. Even the table's sweating. <laughs> Straight power from both players. Gene MQ finally putting in the big forehand loop. Here we see it again. Great block. Power punch, UNMQ with the heavy tops and the Kim Kitak can't cover. That's all you can really do if your pen holder is blocking that backhand. Exactly right, Spencer. 15 you. UNMQ has the lead. And he has the service at 15-10. 16-10. Everything is working now for Yunam Q. He is 20 years of age. Kim Ki Tech, who is a native of Seoul. Watch it! Crowd has been kind of on his 17, side. 10. Well, the crowd can't lose in a way. They're both Koreans, but you're right. Kim Ki Tech is the hometown guy. With his back to us and his back to the wall. 
18-11. You know, Q hails from Tucson. The Tucson powerhouse. This little guy. Whoa! 11-19, 10. That forehand, Luke, is that going 100 miles an hour, Sean? Easily, and what he puts on the second one after the big one to the forehand is side spin, makes it even more difficult to track. Two points away from winning this third game. 20. And it is now game point as it becomes 11-20, the serve to Kim Keetak. And that is it. Game to you, The power, 11. the strength, the talent of you Yunam Q wraps up this third game and gives Yunam Q a two game to one lead in his fight for the gold as we take a look at match point once again has he almost just about given up right here Kim Kik Tuck? I think he has he's standing straight up on the backhand block he doesn't seem too disappointed he's gonna be thinking about this fifth ga fourth game now fourth game is coming right up and right here through three games Yunam Q has taken a two game to one lead in this best three out of five in the battle for Olympic gold has taken a 13 to 10 lead in this fourth game he'd like to wrap it up right here Woo. 13, 11. Kim Kitek has other plans on his mind though guys here we go wide out to the point you makes a great return right off the bounce Kim just sits right on it incredible reaction but there was Kim Kitek putting it away it is now 13 11. He Listen won to that the first chant. Game. Kim Ki Tech. Kim Ki Tech. I think I'll chant a little too. I'd like to see him get into this match. KKT. <laughs> 14 11. Kim. And the service will go over now to Kim Ki Tech. The crowd is chanting for him. He is from Seoul, while you is from Busan. He's a Seoul brother, and they want him to come through here. And he will get the serve. He's 25 years 11, of age. 14. His opponent, Yunam Q, the Asian Games champion, is 20. Oh! 11.15. The power. Here we see Yunam Q with a great backhand. He steps around like all pen holders want to do. Kim Ki Tech tries to kill it in just a little too long. And Yunam Q is returning all those backhands. 15. Now, Kim has fought back. He lost the first six points of the game. I thought he was dead then. Mm -hmm. Because he'd lost actually 10 straight the last four of the previous game. 13 15. He continues to come back, trailing now only by two, 13 15. He must win this game to keep his hopes alive for Olympic gold. Here's the replay. Kim also stepping around the backhand quite often, goes wide to use forehand. I don't think you can believe Kim went for that shot. He put in a great forehand loop. Kim continues to step around. Here we see it going right back at the string. And he gets away with it. And he is now within one. Kim Keetak at 14-15. That time he couldn't get the backhand on the table. And suddenly we are even at 15 all. He caught up. Here we see the replay again. Kim Ki Tech with a nice short serve. Yunam pushing it wide out to the forehand. Blistered it right back to his backhand. Quiet, Here goes the chant once again. The umpire says quiet. Silly umpire. Kim Ki Tech, why not? <laughs> I don't have to be neutral. Uh, one shot. A great forehand loop of Yunam Q. That ball was about the size of a dime inside the baseline to go in for the winner. Seeing it is difficult enough. More than 100 miles an hour. It travels, and it's only nine feet away. What? Uh, 15, 15. A little nervous there? Uh, very difficult to see the little topspin that you hides with his body on the serve. You see, just slipped it a little bit too long. Mm. 17, 16. 17, 16. 
And you say you read you read the spin off the contact, not when it hits your side of the table. Not only off the contact, but we also try to listen to it. But with this crowd in the background, there's no way you can use that. You see him shielding it with his body. Kim Ki Tech, great flip right back into the body. 17 all in the serve for Yunam Q. He leads two games to one. Backhand to backhand. Yu steps around first. Proves too much. 17 18. Kim. So the service will go over now to Kim Ki Tech. Yunam Q with the lead. Kim Ki Tech trailing in this game. 17 18. Best three out of five, and Kim Key Tech is down one game to two. That's a left ball. 19. Well, let's check it now. Let's see what the referee is going to rule. What Play happened, left. John? Okay. It was an net serve. Both the players Play saw left. it. You, 17, perfect 18. sportsman, would not take the point regardless of what the referee says. He said it hit the net, and he waves off the point. We've seen this happen before in this tournament. Jorgen Pearson of... Sweden did it. Oh! That's a backhand! There's the backhand. He smashed it away. And right here, Yunam Q has taken a 19-17 lead in this fourth game. Old National University Gymnasium. 25-year-old Kim Kitek has his back up against the wall. He is down 17-19. This is the fourth game. Yunam Q is up two games to one. Kim Ki Tech with the serve. And that is a let. First game went to Kim Ki Tech, but Yunam Q has his back to you. Won the next two. 18 19. I wouldn't have believed that Kim could come back losing the first six points of the game. But he is indeed battled back. The deficit is now won, 18-19. Yunam Q, the Asian Games champion, a national hero. He's only 20. The veteran Kim Ki Tech, and the chance have been mostly for him. He is from Seoul. <laughs> so, we are even at 19 all. Here you can see Kim using his speed to put you wide to the forehand. You get to the ball too long again two points more and he'll go into a fifth game one point more 2019. it is game point 2019 this crowd when they first came here couldn't quite decide who to root for they knew a Korean was going to take home gold and another one was going to take home silver play please 2019 they're taking sides Kim Kitek Referee said quiet. Oh. <laughs> what a way to save a game point. Here we see an MQ. Safe opening. Steps around, just rips it right oh. in the forehand. The power. We're even. It is now Deuce. We're even at 20 all. And Bud Collins Kim T Tech fan club continues to chant. KKT. I gotta shorten it up because they're in a deuce situation. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Ah! It is now match Kim. point, medal point, and Kim Keetak knows it. He's definitely going to take all the time he can. You see him wiping off his feet, make sure he doesn't slide at all on this next point. Look for him to try to get a very strong opening, then finish it off with a smash. The lead belongs to Yunam Q, and Kim Ki Tech is trying to send it back to Deuce off the serve. Oh! oh, oh. He did it! 21 all! Kim Ki Tech will make me a wreck. Here's the smashes. Another quick smash. Final one. Can't even see the ball go by. Oh. More than 100 miles an hour indeed. And here is Yunam Q. We're at Deuce at 21. Oh, what a kick. 21, 22. He just kick. punches that backhand back. And once again, it is metal point. Kim Ki Tech. I don't know. you got to keep it up. you got to keep it up. Kim Ki Tech. Yunam Q. 
is the man who is one point away from a gold medal. Oh, is that a psych job? He wanted to think about it a little bit more. The referee was correct in disallowing him to go to that towel. Only after five service points can you do it. Game to you, 23-21. He wins the match three games to one. Are you unanimous for you. Okay. Emotionally, okay. Rutt over the fact that he has taken home the gold medal here at the Olympic Games you to go along game, with that Asian Games championship. In a moment 11, by himself to contemplate the victory. Here's the final point replayed. Kim Kitak with a high toss serve. You getting an opening wide out gold medal gold medal indeed and it goes to Yunam Q of Korea the silver goes to Kim Kitek of Korea and the bronze medal to Eric Lind of Sweden